your experience as a picket captain? That was uh, obviously in, in winter now. It was uh, the pruning. So the harvest has moved on to, to the pruning. We had to show a massive force there. He was a striker. Was he, he was a, a member of AWOC who went back to work and broke the strike and became uh, an enemy. But he was on the picket line with us at the beginning. But he, in the movie, I mean, the documentary, he's talking about being a poor man. He has to work, blah, 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 you know. <laughs> so that would happen. You know, that would happen is that I remember one day we we're on the picket line. There was an African-American campesina who was out there. She was charming. She was great on the picket line, talking to people. The next day, we're out there trying to stop cars. And she was going to work. She was in one of the cars. <laughs> I mean... I said, what are you doing here? You know, I mean, you're breaking the strike. And she says, I know, I got to work. Who's going to take care of my kids? <laughs> and I said, then what are you doing on the picket line? Well, I support the strike. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I said, you can't scab and support the strike at this. But she went on anyway. She went to work. <laughs> Just, anyway, people did that, including some of my relatives. You know, they were out there scabbing. And uh, I'd be embarrassed, you know, because I'd run into them. And it was a cousin or an uncle or... Or somebody, you know. Now, this is Ruth Robinson on the right. Yes. Yeah. 